Hey guys, this is your trusted weather forecast, and today we're going to be talking about potential tropical storm or hurricane Gamma that could form in the Caribbean and move into the Gulf sometime in early October. This system currently has a 20% chance of formation by the National Hurricane Center. I do expect that to go up moderately over the next couple days. Development of the system isn't guaranteed, but is looking increasingly possible over the last few days. Before we get into this, I'd like to ask you to subscribe. About 75% of you who watch my videos are not subscribed. So please click the subscribe button if you like weather-related content. Hit the notification bell if you do not want to miss a single upload. Also, share this with friends and family and like the video to get this out to as many people as possible. Let's get right into this. The National Hurricane Center gives the system a 0% chance of formation through 48 hours and a 20 through 5 days. Slow development is possible late this week while the system moves slowly west-northwestward. Let's get right into the models. This is what the latest GFS model run shows. This is one model, one run, one outcome out of many. So this may or may not happen. You can see this is October 2nd. And you can see there is a system there where that L1000 is. The lower the number, the more stronger the system is. As it strengthens substantially before making the first landfall in Mexico with a pressure of 973, this is October 3rd. Then it weakens as it moves over Mexico because it is land. But it starts hovering around the coast of Mexico, which could bring some significant impacts if this happens. This is October 7th, when it gets past Mexico after hovering around for a few days before pushing towards Florida with a pressure of 963, which is pretty strong. This is October 10th, before making landfall in Florida with a pressure of 978, Central Florida, around October 11th. And it rapidly weakens as it moves inland of Florida and also slows down. But like I said, this is one model, one outcome. This is the GDPS model. This is a different model. This one is very different than the GFS model with how it plays this system out. It shows little development, potentially a tropical depression before it moves over Mexico, but then it moves western, west of Mexico into the western Gulf of Mexico and not towards Florida while remaining very weak, potentially a tropical depression or even lower strength. Again, this is one model, one outcome. This may or may not happen here. These are current sea surface temperatures in degrees Celsius. You can see the Caribbean is very warm, which is why the GFS had the system strengthening so quickly, rapidly intensifying, because there's widespread 30 to 32 degree waters there. And unfortunately, in October, these are where all the systems are going to start forming around the Caribbean, southern Caribbean areas, most likely. And the Gulf is also pretty warm, especially off the coast of Florida, and the waters get colder the more north you go because of the impacts of Laura and Beta. Those systems took up some of the water, warmer waters there. Moving on to the question of the day really quickly, what is your favorite season and why is it your favorite season? Winter, fall, summer, spring, there are four seasons. Comment below your answers and I'll read over them. What is your favorite season and why? That's the trusted weather forecast for potential tropical storm gamma. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment if you want. Goodbye.